Hey, Bark Lord. I can't tell you how many videos I've tried to send you. Uh, this is my fourth attempt uh, right now, and every attempt ends with me with saying a cuss word and kind of dropping my arms to my side and walking in a circle. Um, and so I think that, I mean, that's, that's, there's something up with that. I think that, uh, there was a large part of my life where I was very happy and, uh, then cracks started to develop in my happiness. And I can't tell, gosh, I can't tell if things fell apart or if, uh, or if I just became aware that nothing was really held together to begin with. But, uh, gosh, at one point in time, it just seemed like uh, my support system um, was actually um, a gigantic trap. You know, like I suddenly realized, like, hey, man, my... My work's taken serious advantage of me. Um, some of the people that I trusted wholeheartedly um, took advantage of me to a degree that I hope I never see ever again. And... Uh, people uh, I thought I could count on um, hurt me in ways that almost made me think that they must have viewed me as an enemy to treat me that way. And here I was thinking that I could count on them and they were my, my closest and best uh, friends. So at one point in time, I just started to feel that uh, that I'd been just ground down. I had uh, some serious colored glasses on. They were dark. Ugh. But you know, I just I just kept plugging along. I kept doing what I thought I needed to do. Just just, I was like, just don't think about it. Just take care of basics. Um, you know, make sure that, uh, make sure that you stay healthy. Um, and make sure you cover, uh, what you need to cover. Forget everything else. Don't try to fix anything. Just try to, uh, just try to make sure your life raft is, uh, is bailed out. And, uh, you protect yourself from sunstroke and you hydrate. That, that was that was my life for a while. Floating in a life raft. And I remember once, uh, I remember the turnaround point. I was uh, with my, uh, I was with my friend Nacho B and uh, he invited me, he's a musician, and he invited me to go uh, hear a talk on uh, South American instruments. So uh, there was a stage with about, uh, I don't know, like five, six musicians on it and just tons and tons of instruments. And uh, they start introducing them and playing them a little bit. And uh, there must have been like, I don't know, like 300 or more students. Uh, it was a little bit standing room only, actually, in the auditorium. There's uh, a lot of people. There are a lot of young, uh, well-dressed um, college kids. It's a, uh, uh, I, everyone's outfit in the entire room was more expensive than mine. And I was just kind of sitting there listening to music, and I think I was probably listening to it with a blank face. Um, part about living a long time in a life raft is, uh, you end up not showing a whole lot of emotion. I'm still amazed at it. Even, even now, actually, I could go through an entire day without showing any emotion on my face. Um. That's a terrible thing to learn, uh, how uh, showing uh, emotion uh, might, uh, might bring about negative consequences. But learned it, I did.
So they, uh, when these musicians started to play instruments, uh, comments like the, the, the blank face comment, that's, that's what makes it hard for me to send you these, uh, these videos. I don't, I don't like saying stuff like that. I don't like admitting things like that. Um, so these people started playing these instruments. And uh, the room's packed. And so people who are standing, they're already standing, they just kind of start swaying to the music. And other people are sitting, like instantly see people swaying in the aisles. Well, they stand up in their seats and start swaying. And then other people are like, well, I need a little bit more room. And so there's only, the only room is, is right in front of the stage. And people just move out into the, and fill up that area. And they start dancing. And uh, more and more people want to dance. And this is just a demonstration. This isn't a concert. Uh, so people start getting up on the stage and dancing because there's room there. And then the musicians start handing up, you know, like turtle shells uh, turn into tambourines and uh, um, sticks with gravel in them that you flip around or whatever. And they start just handing them people on the stage. So suddenly the stage is covered in musicians. Uh, a little demonstration of music becomes a full-on concert and the entire room is doing this. Except for... Uh, myself and uh, Nacho B. Uh, we're both sitting there and probably with blank faces. Uh, Nacho B is also uh, um, experienced working for reptilians and uh, has had been negatively affected by it. I won't, I won't tell his story. Um, the, uh, the moment though when I realized uh, that I needed to turn things around as far as uh, getting out of my life uh, raft was where uh, I looked back at the sea of faces and the joy coming off these faces and the mass of it was uh, I don't know the last time I've ever seen anything like that kids playing in a schoolyard probably so I said uh, I said to my friend I'm like have you ever seen anything like this look at these people's faces and he turned and looked at them he says these are the faces of people who have never been ground down and I thought he was right but I also thought that there was a chance that he wasn't right and that some of these people dancing and flinging their bodies into the air with joy actually had been ground down and they Part of their flinging their bodies into the sky was uh, um, their celebration and triumph over uh, over despair and uh, and uh, negativity. Like say uh, say there is a sea of people and industries and things out there uh, wanting to take advantage of you and take what's yours or only give you a tiny bit and then try to get that tiny bit back some other way. And they're like, you know what? So what? I have a turtle shell tambourine. And uh, I made it myself. And uh, no one uh, can charge me to dance. And uh, no one can keep me from making instruments and making music and, uh, and, and singing out. And I thought that, well, maybe, uh, maybe there is a guy right there. Maybe that guy uh, went through uh, the things I went through. And uh, maybe he started immediately to try to uh, do the best he could uh, to enjoy his life despite all the, uh, all the shit that you have to wade through to get uh, a tiny bit of, of uh, joy out of it. And so, uh, so that's why I decided uh, that I needed to turn things around, that uh, I was going to be happy and uh, I was going to uh, find joy in things and I was going to find joy in things that didn't come from a box or uh, a company um, or anybody but uh, really myself. Um, I was going to go hiking, I was going to ride my bike, I was going to read books in the library, uh, I was going to uh, listen to the radio, um, I was going to do things that didn't cost any money and uh, I was going to get a job working for a corporation, like you say, like the uh, 
all my life I, was living, uh, I worked for small mom and pop places and now I found a way to insert myself into a giant machine and I could be a really small cog on the very outside of it and uh, I could decide that uh, I'm only going to work there as little as I can they want me to work there all the time um, and I'm going to take uh, that little amount of money they give me and uh, I'm, I'm going to try not to spend it I'm going to live on the street illegally. Uh, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be homeless, home free, and uh, uh, day after day, and month after month, and year after year, I feel happier and happier and happier, and more my own man. And uh, I'm trying hard, I guess, to put uh, a more of a rose color in my glasses. And uh, and when I get it, it's not that uh, I'm deceiving myself. I've won it. And I've earned it. And uh, no one can say that, uh, oh, Earl, you're naive. Um, you know, laughing and dancing and shaking your turtle tambourine. And I'm like, no, I'm not naive. Um, but I've earned uh, the, uh, the appearance. And, uh, and anyone that uh, thinks I'm naive uh, because I want to smile and dance, um, their opinion means less than nothing. So, yeah, these things are hard to say, Bark Lord, and that's why that it's hard for me to, uh, it's been hard for me to send you a uh, video response. But, uh, but there you go. There you have it. So, all right.